hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can view your your camera remotely on a pc okay so i've been having a request asking me to make a video on how you can view your camera on your pc remotely okay so instead of using the the your dvr app you can use your pc to view the camera okay but in today's video i'm going to be using the work product remember you can do this with any dvr at all as long as you have their cms as long as you have access to their cms software you can view your camera remotely from any location so you can have your dvr in a particular state and your computer in another different state so all you need to get is the serial number and the username of that particular DVR so you can ask anybody at that location to send you the serial number and the admin username of the DVR okay so first of all you log into your DVR so this is that one like I said so for that one you go to peer to peer network Pair to pair okay so this is all you need this serial number that is one and secondly go to account users okay so you need this username and the password you use in login in so you should know the password all right so i already know this dvr password so you should know the username and the password you use in login into this dvr so once you are done, once you get this uh, three information, the username, the password, and the serial number, you are good to go. So the last thing is to make sure that the remote DVR is online. So make sure that the status is online. Make sure that the status is online. Okay, so once all these are completed on the DVR end, you can now come to your system and continue so on the pc what you need to do is to make sure you install this software called the smart pss okay for that work use smart pss that is their cms okay and also make sure that your uh, pc is online okay so you can connect it to any uh, network you have at that location so open your uh, smart pss So if you don't have an account, you should create an account already. So I already have an account on this device. Okay. If you don't know how to create an account, make a request for that. I'm going to make a video and send to you. Okay. So log in. Okay. So uh, there are many things you can do with Smart PSS. There are many things you can do with Smart PSS. But the essence of this particular video is remote connection of your DVR okay so we're going to be having other videos on different activities you can do on this smart PSS okay so for our remote connection click on the devices here okay so come down to under configuration click on devices okay so click on add here now give it a device name you can call it anything you want okay you can call it my remote device okay so come down to this place method to add select sm for device support pair to pair that is p2p select it then input that serial number remember the serial number now once you are done leave this one as it is come down here and put the username of your dvr remember those information i say you should copy out so admin then you put your password once you are done click on add so the device has added let's wait for this uh, status to change to 
online okay the status has changed to online remember if your device password uh, or username is incorrect the device will still add but it will not come online so it's going to be showing you an error somewhere here telling you that uh, either the username or the password is incorrect so make sure you put in your correct details all right so for you to view your camera come back to this interface come back click on this add button okay click on live view So remember all of them are under the default uh, the default group so if you have different uh, devices you add to the smart pss you are going to see all of them here so you can easily switch from one device to another okay so remember the one we added was my remote device okay so we have other devices like the atwini and the frank nice let's go back let me just show you quickly so if you watch, we have this at and we have this crack night. So if you add other devices, you will see the list of them here. Okay, so when you come to live view, you will see them under the default group. Right? Under default group. Okay, default group is not showing here. But remember, here we saw something like uh, this group, which is default group. Right? Here. So come back and select the particular device you want to view now click on the camera double click on it double click on each one so once you double click on any camera you will see this uh, green dot appear on it okay so your cameras will start coming up i only have one camera here which is this okay so this is the only camera i have here is on here right so other cameras uh, other ports there's no camera on them so that will be all for this video remember i said you can do this with any other technology once you have their cms okay so once you have access to their cms you can do the same with other technology thank you guys if you have any other question pertaining this please drop it on the comment section below i'm going to attend to it don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you learned anything from it see you guys in my next video